Summer is here, time for sunshine, swimming, and fun outdoors. But it's also a time for extreme heat in many places. We're talking about heat waves, those super hot days that stick around for a while. And they're becoming more common because of climate change. Heat waves are dangerous for everyone, but especially for young children, older adults, and people with health conditions. Why? Because when it gets really hot outside, our bodies can have trouble staying cool. We can overheat and that can lead to serious health problems, even death. But here's something many people don't realize. Some medications can make heat waves even riskier. That's right, the medicines you take to feel better could actually put you in danger during hot weather. That's why it's so important to be aware of this issue, especially if you or someone you love takes regular medication. In this video, we'll explore why certain medications make heat waves extra dangerous and what you can do to stay safe. Our bodies are pretty amazing. They have this built-in system for regulating temperature, kind of like an internal thermostat. When it gets hot outside, we sweat. Sweating helps cool us down. Our bodies also send more blood to the surface of our skin, which helps release heat. But some medications can interfere with our body's natural cooling system. They can make it harder for us to sweat or make us lose water faster. When that happens, we can overheat more easily, and that can be dangerous, even deadly. Think of it like this. Taking certain medications during a heat wave is like adding fuel to a fire. The heat is already stressing your body, and these medications can make that stress even worse. Now let's take a look at some specific medications that can increase your risk during hot weather. So, which medications should you be aware of? Here's a list of some common types of drugs that can increase your risk during a heat wave. Water pills, diuretics. These are often prescribed for high blood pressure or heart failure. They help your body get rid of extra fluid, but that also means you can get dehydrated more easily, especially in hot weather. Blood pressure medicines. Some medications for high blood pressure can reduce blood flow to your skin, making it harder for your body to cool down. Antihistamines. These are commonly used to treat allergies, but they can also reduce sweating, making it harder to regulate your body temperature. Antidepressants and antipsychotics. Some of these medications can affect your body's internal thermostat, making you more sensitive to heat. Decongestants. Like antihistamines, decongestants can reduce sweating. Stimulants. These medications, often used to treat ADHD, can increase your metabolism and body temperature, making you more susceptible to heat stroke. This is not an exhaustive list, and it's important to remember that everyone reacts to medications differently. That's why it's crucial to talk to your doctor or pharmacist about the specific medications you're taking and how they might affect you during hot weather. Spotting the warning signs. Are you overheating? Knowing the symptoms of heat-related illness is crucial, especially if you're taking any of the medications mentioned above. Here are some warning signs to watch out for. Heat cramps. These are painful muscle spasms that usually occur in the legs or abdomen. They're often the first sign of heat-related illness. Heat exhaustion. This is a more serious condition that can develop if heat cramps are ignored. Symptoms include heavy sweating, weakness, dizziness, headache, nausea, and vomiting. Heat stroke. This is a life-threatening emergency that occurs when your body's temperature regulation system fails completely. Symptoms include confusion, seizures, loss of consciousness, and a very high body temperature. 103 degrees Fahrenheit or higher. If you experience any of these symptoms, it's essential to seek medical attention immediately. Remember, heat stroke is a medical emergency and requires immediate treatment. Tips for staying safe. The good news is that there are plenty of things you can do to stay safe during a heat wave, even if you're taking medications that increase your risk. Here are some practical tips. Stay hydrated. Drink plenty of fluids, especially water, throughout the day. Avoid sugary drinks as they can actually dehydrate you. Avoid peak heat hours. Try to stay indoors during the hottest part of the day, usually from late morning to early evening. Dress cool. Wear loose-fitting light-colored clothing. Take cool showers or baths. This can help lower your body temperature quickly. Use fans and air conditioning. If you don't have air conditioning, spend time in air-conditioned places like libraries or shopping malls. Never leave children or pets in a parked car. The temperature inside a parked car can rise to dangerous levels very quickly, even on a moderately hot day. Talk to your doctor. If you're concerned about how your medications might affect you during hot weather, talk to your doctor. They can advise you on whether you need to adjust your dosage or take any special precautions. Stay informed, stay safe. Heat waves are a serious health threat, and certain medications can make them even more dangerous. But by being aware of the risks, knowing the symptoms of heat-related illness, 
and taking steps to stay cool. You can protect yourself and your loved ones during hot weather. Remember, knowledge is power when it comes to staying safe in the heat. Don't forget to hit the like button and comment below. Stay informed, stay hydrated, and stay cool.